Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today doing a monthly favorites, which we've talked about this before. I am incapable of actually doing monthly favorites videos, so we're calling this winter favorites. And it's kind of appropriate because the stuff is pretty winter focused. But before I jumped into my monthly winter favorites, um, I wanted to just give you guys kind of a life update because the last couple of videos have been a lot of travel content and you haven't heard that much from me or gotten a lot of life update stuff. Um, I have been talking about it more on the blog, uh, but I'm trying to do more of it around here. So I just kind of wanted to update you on how things are going, where I'm at in life, and then we'll jump into the things that I'm loving. So right now I am coming to you live from my apartment in San Francisco, which is crazy because not actually the last favorites video. No, the last favorites video I filmed when I was in Minnesota. So I wasn't, I wasn't in Toronto then. But as you guys know, I am born and raised Canadian. I am from Toronto. I've lived there for most of my life. I also lived in Montreal and I lived in New York City. Uh, but we are on this like crazy adventure and we decided that we were gonna create a home base here in San Francisco. Um, so. My boyfriend, you guys know Kurt, he's in a lot of my videos. His family is out here, so we want to spend some time with them and also just get that kind of West Coast life vibe. Um, but full discretion, the move was not easy. It was actually a lot more challenging than I expected it to be. Uh, I wrote about it on the blog, so I'll link to that blog post in the description bar below if you want that content, want that content, want that blog post. Sorry, I got really sidetracked because someone like decided to turn on their like, like leaf blower like right now, obviously. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic. Anyway, I'm going to continue. So yeah, so anyway, it was really tough. Um, I shared sort of my feelings around that on the blog. Just wanted to like let you guys know that, you know, a lot of the reason that some of the content on here, some of the videos on here haven't been as personal is because I've kind of been going through a lot and it was easier to just kind of focus on creating those videos out of the road trip than have to actually like get personal. But yeah, it was like November, December were really depressing and sad for me. And I'm so grateful for this space that could really allow me to express my creativity when maybe I just like emotionally wasn't in a great place. I could just focus on something else besides how I was feeling, um, which I did. I worked through the feels, but I just, wasn't ready to talk about them. And we'll talk more about this kind of stuff, I'm hoping, in the future. I want to discuss more about like mental health and self-care and just like the lessons I've learned and the lessons I have yet to learn. I think it's so important when it comes to health and I just want to explore more of that with you guys. So let me know if you're interested in that. Just leave a comment below because if you guys are, I'd love to talk more about it with you. Um, besides moving my life across the continent, um, other exciting things. I started a podcast, uh, which I have been loving. I am so grateful for this space and for the blog where I get to kind of share my journey and my life, but I really think that there's so many perspectives when it comes to health and, or just anything really. And I just wanted a space where I could share that, like other people's stories um, rather than just my own. And I felt like podcasting was the perfect medium for that. I'm hoping to be able to bring some of the guests onto the channel because um, I think you know you can learn a lot from just like seeing people interact together. But of course, a lot of the people I want to talk to aren't necessarily in the same city as me. Um, if you are in San Francisco, let me know because I would love to connect with you. But for most guests, they aren't in San Francisco. So I launched a podcast. It's called That's So Maven. You can find it on iTunes and Stitcher or whatever podcast player you're using. I'm probably on there. So yeah, check it out. It's been really amazing. We've done four episodes for season one and season two is coming next week. So subscribe so that you are up to date on new podcast episodes. And besides that, I mean, yeah, we went on that crazy road trip. So if you haven't caught up on those videos, it was pretty amazing. I mean, it was really emotional just because of the whole like moving aspect of it. And then also when we totaled the car on the first day, which... I vlogged through, so check out that video. Um, and yeah, kind of moving forward, I'm hoping to showcase more of life out here in San Francisco. I'd love to do um, an apartment tour once things are kind of more settled. Currently, the apartment is totally empty because our stuff hasn't arrived yet. And it's been three weeks, so 
Um, it kind of goes to show that you really don't need that much stuff to function. But there are some key favorites, which I'm going to jump into, that have kind of helped me through this. And also, winter here in San Francisco is a little bit unexpected. And I'll explain myself. So I kind of thought that, like, I mean... I knew that it was a little bit colder in Northern California. I've been here a bunch, but when I got here, it basically rained for like a month straight. And I know California has been in a drought, so people are pretty happy about the rain, but oh man, it was depressing. Like it was so depressing. And because of the like humidity because the being on the ocean, it's just like this deep cold when it is cold. So even though it's like nowhere near as cold as Toronto was or Minnesota, it like it was just like in your bones and like no one turns their heat on here. I mean, I get it. Save money, better for energy usage, but like, oh, it was cold. When we got into our new place, I like cranked it up to 72 and I was like, it is staying here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's meant kind of finding the right gear and clothing, which like surprisingly I didn't have a lot of. Um, just because in Toronto, it's either like winter really cold or summer really hot. So I've kind of had to expand more of my like fall wardrobe a little bit, which is nice because I actually like that kind of clothing. Um, but yeah, and just sort of my like skincare routine and everything has had to change because it's a lot more humid out here. But let's, let's jump in. Let's talk about favorites because I've been rambling for a while. Um, what should I start with? Um, I could do clothing. Mm, let's start with food because food. I actually don't have that much food. Um, a couple things because I ran out of them, so <laughs> I'm not able, I'll tell you about them, but I can't actually show you them. Um, the first is dried mangoes. I have been like on a dried mango, like binge fest. I don't know what's going on. I'm literally obsessed with them. Like even on our road trip, I like made a stop at like co-ops or wherever I could find a healthy place to get the like, um, like none of the like sugar added, the like basically like sun dried mangoes and unsulfured. Trader Joe's actually has really good ones. Um, so I've been getting them mainly from Trader Joe's because I now have Trader Joe's because I live in America, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, dried mangoes have been loving those. And then the Whole Foods um, lemon hummus is so good. I don't know what they do to it, but it's so creamy and delicious. I have been like eating that non-stop I'm incapable of not eating like a whole thing in one day so I'm now ordering like three of them it's out of control and of course I still don't have one for when I'm filming this because yeah I polished it off last night um but I've been using Instacart again like I, I'm in this like weird I now live in America phase where I'm like discovering the like not only like I live in America but like I live in San Francisco <laughs> so all, everything can be delivered and I'm trying to not fall into the trap too much but the neighborhood that we live in isn't like a mecca for food unlike where we were living in Toronto so Instacart has been amazing for deliveries um, I'll include a link to get $10 off Instacart in the description box below this isn't sponsored by them or anything I just really really like Instacart it's been amazing so I can get Whole Foods delivered to my door I sort of feel like a horrible person for like being so excited about this but like whatever um yeah so instacart has been great but the food things that i do have with me so the first is this raka i think that's how you say it raka chocolate um my friend jules actually sent this to me she has an amazing instagram account it's called chew haiku where she writes haikus with food um it's so cool i'll link it below and she sent me a couple bars of this and it is amazing i think they're like a new york or brooklyn based company um and it's just a, like all natural um it's organic cacao beans organic cane sugar organic coconut this one's um uh, mint and nib so it's a peppermint one um cacao butter peppermint and peppermint oil um my favorite is the sea salt but i like i went through that one so quickly and they have a really good like coconut milk one so yeah if you're a chocolate person raka check it out um I've also been really into matcha. I don't know what's going on. Like I, I love coffee and I, I still have coffee probably a few times a week, but I just am not a like, oh my God, I need my cup of coffee first thing in the morning. I think just like with all the stress happening, it's been nice to have caffeine that's a bit of a slower release. So I've been um, into matcha lately. Um, 
And this is the ceremonial matcha from David's Tea. It's not the cheapest. I don't know if it's like necessarily the best one on the market, but it tastes really good to me. And I, um, I shared a recipe for my matcha turmeric latte on the blog. Again, I'll link it below. Um, and I've been starting my day with that and I add coconut oil to it and it's just super creamy. And I've actually been adding a little bit of my Simply Organic pumpkin spice to it. And it's, oh, it's so, so good. Oh man, okay, now I want one. Um, yeah, so the matcha. Uh, and then this isn't really food, but it's a cookbook. And I got this for Christmas as a gift to myself. <laughs> um, and this is Small Victories, which is Julia Tertian. Um, she is an amazing, amazing cook. She has done, I mean, Ina Garden wrote the foreword. She worked on Gwyneth Paltrow's cookbooks. She's just super talented and the recipes are all really, really easy. And I'm really trying to like cook more from cookbooks. Um, I just think it's cool to kind of see how other people cook that are, that's different than the way that I do. I obviously love doing a lot of my own recipe creations, but it's great to get inspiration from other cookbooks. So I'm thinking about doing a, um, either like a series on like recipes I've made from cookbooks or like trying to like hold myself accountable to making more recipes from cookbooks. And I also want to share with you guys some of my favorite cookbooks because I have a mighty collection. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know. That's it for food. Let's do some like beauty stuff. I actually want to make sure that this is still recording. Oh yeah, we're still going. Okay, good. <laughs> um, okay, for beauty, I um, I'm really into the luminance. So if you guys haven't tried luminance um, skincare, they're an amazing brand. They're actually California based, so it's cool that they're kind of local to me now. Um, but I love their masks. So a couple months ago, I got their clarifying mask that has like French green clay in it, and it's like. As you guys know, I deal with acne. I will, again, I'll link to some of the um, blog posts that I've written about acne and sort of my struggles with it. And this one has helped so much with like redness and whenever I'm like, just like really broken out, it just helps kind of like all that inflammation. It just really helps curb a lot of that and just makes my skin feel like not, looks not as red and it's a lot softer. Um, so I've been using this one a lot. And then uh, this is the exfoliating mask, which they um, feel strongly to not use any kind of like harsh exfoliant stuff um, to kind of get rid of dead skin cells, which I actually really like using um, that stuff because I feel like my skin feels a lot cleaner after I use them and I get a lot of like built up because I have such dry skin, I get a lot of like built up dead skin. Um, but I've been using this and it's like my face, like it literally feels like someone just like infused it with like water. It's like so plump and amazing. I've only been using this for like two weeks now, but I really, really like it. So it's the exfoliant mask and it uses papaya enzyme in it. So luminance, check these guys out. Um, less like skincare-y, but beauty focused. Um, this is the Lily Lolo palette. So I've done a video on some of my like makeup that I use, um, my like organic green beauty makeup that I really like. Um, but I will say that in my like makeup stuff, I like a lot of, most of it is natural, but my eyeshadows weren't because I felt like I had so many of them over the years and I was like, oh, I don't wear these that often. So like, do I really need to go out and buy a bunch of new ones? But then I saw this palette on Detox Market and it's, well, I'm gonna try and open this. And it's just like all the colors I already use. So it's like browns and golds and green. Like those are like the colors that, uh, that I usually wear. So I got this palette and it was only like 30 or $35. Like it really, and that was Canadian. So it really was not that expensive and it will last like forever. And I love it so much. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I just feel like there's a lot of different stuff that I can do with it. So I've been like playing around a little bit with like different eyeshadows and yeah, I really, if you're looking for a really good all natural palette, um, definitely check out Lily Lolo. I'll link to it below. Okay. So let's do clothing. Um, first these, these are boots that I got from Roots. I got them in the fall. My mom actually got them for me. I think she was really depressed about me <laughs> moving. Um, 
I love Roots. It's one of my favorite companies. It's a Canadian company and they just make really good products. So these are, I have another pair of Roots boots that have like lasted me forever. Um, but I wanted like high top ones. And so I've been wearing these. I wore them through like the whole road trip. They're just really, they're like stylish, but also like really functional. Um, so if you're looking for like lace up high top boots, love these ones. Um, okay, next one is this. I don't think I can get most of this into the frame, but it's this jacket. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit. I will insert some clips from um, when I've been wearing it. I wore it a lot on our road trip, like basically every single clip in our road trip. And I'm like, oh, I'm wearing this in everything and like every single picture. But it's so comfortable and it's so warm. I actually got it when I was in Banff um, because it was freezing there and I like was not prepared for it. And I invested in this coat and it was worth every single penny. It's been perfect for San Francisco when it's just like a little bit chilly. It's not like a full blown winter coat because you don't really need that here. And I, I have a winter coat, um, which I hope to never have to pull out again. But this one is just, it's, it's perfect. It's amazing. <laughs> if you're, oh, it's from Patagonia, which most of my wardrobe is from Patagonia. So that's not surprising at all, but I love it. If you're looking for sort of a like heavier fall coat. Um, okay, the other two things I'm wearing, uh, this watch, this is kind of an awkward angle, but um, Daniel Wellington sent me this watch, full disclosure. They did not ask me to talk about this at all. I just am obsessed with it. I like, I have this old watch that I got when I was like 20 and I wanted something like really gaudy. <laughs> and now I'm like, Ugh, I never want to wear it. And then I, my skin started to react to it. I think it was like the nickel in it. Um, but I have not reacted at all to this watch. It's really like simple and tasteful and it's just a nice everyday watch. I got the black band with the rose gold face. Um, I am including a link to uh, get a discount on your Daniel Wellington watch if you want one. Honestly, like full disclosure, like I, I really, really love it. It's so cute and so functional. So yeah, it's awesome. And then the last thing, this turtleneck. I'm learning that people are very opinionated on turtlenecks. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about them and now I'm like exclusively wearing turtlenecks. I don't know what's going on. Um, but this one is from ASOS. I think it's ASOS. Um, and I got it, I got it like a month ago and I think I've worn it like pretty much like three times a week, every single week. It's so nice. It's warm. It's cozy, it's perfect for winter, and it really just goes with everything. I just love this color. As you guys know, I'm like really into like any version of like reddy maroon. Um, this is kind of like a purple reddy, but any sort of like darky earth tone like that. So yeah, I love this one a lot. And I think that's all I've got for you. I probably will have a lot more when our stuff gets here, but it's I've really just like learned so much from this whole process about like stuff. like. It's nice, obviously, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn because stuff isn't what's supposed to bring you joy. It's not, it's not that, but through the process of not having a lot of our stuff, I realized that there are certain things that do bring me a lot of joy and that's okay. Like we don't have to be like full minimalist. And like, I think there's like kind of this trend going on that like minimalist is the new way of living. And I do think that like, there's a lot of value in not like just getting so much stuff and like filling your space with it. It's, it's cluttering and it, it's like hard to think when you have so much stuff. But I also think that like stuff can bring you joy and that's okay. Like this coat has brought me so much joy because it has kept me warm when I like was freezing when I first got here and on a road trip and, and it's stylish too. Like, yeah, I could probably have gotten like a cheaper, more functional coat, but I, I really like the way it looks and it's really comfortable and it works. So it's okay for like stuff to bring you joy. Just want to like add that FYI at the end there and kind of going forward. I want to hear from you guys on the kind of stuff that you want to hear more about. Do you like these favorites videos? Do you want to see more travel stuff, more like just life chats? I don't know. You tell me, I would love to hear from you guys. I want to be able to make videos that you want to watch. And of course that I want to make too, but just in general, I just like making videos. I really like this medium. So if I can like kind of fuse that with the stuff that you guys want to see, then that would be awesome. And as always, give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel um, because that's 
it's really helpful for getting more people to find the channel and also it means that when a new video comes out you will know about it so yeah you should probably subscribe <laughs> Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I will be back. I'm actually heading on a press trip, or I guess when you see this, I'll be on a press trip. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Israel. So I, I am in Israel. So if you have any questions about Israel, let me know, cause I can ask my new friends in Israel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. See you later.